this is soul intuitive uh, tarot for unique souls welcome to my channel libra this is going to be your general forecast for the week of june 13th through the 19th 2016 okay so let's get right into your messages uh libra for some libras that i'm reading for you have the potential of dealing with the energy of the five of wands in the upright position so this is about for some of you minor battles and struggles uh, this could be internal and this could also be um you know battles and struggles from others uh, i always see the wands as uh, interference uh, usually coming from family and friends uh, usually resulting in um, getting involved into your personal affairs also the energy from um, the past i am picking up that there was some sort of battles and struggles either internally um, going on with you and or those personal interferences that I was speaking of uh, related to family members and friends and your personal affairs um, dealing with possibly the battles and struggles uh, with a fire sign Leo Sagittarius Aries male or female it's brought some sort of I'm not getting the energy of a conflict maybe there was some sort of conflict but it's just you trying to uh, sort your mental mind out and it may result in the struggling and the battling for the uh, Libras that I'm reading for having to deal with this energy internally. Uh, if it's not you having to deal with that, then it's the outside influences of uh, interference from family members and friends. Uh, some of this energy is still lingering since it's in the upright. The fives are about clearing, so it's something that's going to uh, come your way, but then it'll be a passing situation. Uh, so for the week, it's about um, possible internal battles and struggles within self or dealing with battles and struggles from others uh, related to, uh, again, possible fire signs. But they don't have to be direct fire signs. It could be um, that they have fire elements in their birth chart. OK, uh, yesterday, going back to two weeks, since this is a mini read now, we have a major arcana, major life event. This is the hangman in the reverse. So. It's in the reverse because it's a period of overcoming sitting on the fence is how I read this. OK, maybe that there was something going on um, tied into a relationship that I'm picking up specifically in the past um, that had you sitting on the fence. Uh, but you're no longer sitting on that fence now. Uh, the hangman has flipped and you're ready to move forward in the upright. It's all about you sitting on the fence there's some sort of air suspension um going on uh since this is a general reading you can apply uh the messages to whatever is close or significant to you so if it's a relationship uh so have you friendship job situation something going on in the family structure uh but it is in the uh reverse so you're no longer sitting on the fence there's no longer no air of suspension and then your whole perspective may have been altered with the hangman in the upright but it's in the reverse so now your perspective about whatever uh, something that I'm being fed to say that was close and that you were drawn to that was important to you uh, may have shifted your perspective or altered your perception but now you seem to be getting some sort of restoration with that um, seeing things as they are and so that's possibly having to refocus your, you know, your perception on something or your perspective. OK. In the middle of the week now, some Libras um, <clears throat> have to be mindful of their own emotions uh, with the Queen of Cups showing up in the reverse. It could be related to a Libra that, or two that I'm reading for that's dating or in a relationship with a uh, highly sensitive emotional water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, male or female. This also could represent, an, you know, for me, a mother figure who's coming across as being emotional. Uh, and also, since it is the queen, it could be also father energy as well. Someone that's a water sign. Um, I'm getting older or elder that's coming across as being somewhat emotionally disappointed or upset. And then also for the Libras, uh, be mindful of your emotions this week, especially in the midweek, because it could be that 
Okay, there's two messages here. So it could be that you need to be mindful of your uh, your emotions related to a relationship. And also because it is in the reverse, it's always a, another side to this this energy in the cards. It could be that some Libras are overcoming some sort of emotional disappointment or let down attached to a relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to be. Again, this is a general broad reading. So apply the messages uh, that it you know, that would be close or significant to you. Um, I'm just, you know, because it is a court person, I I mean, a court card, I'm sorry, it's an actual person for me. So it's you overcoming some sort of emotional disappointment attached to a relationship. And then now you're no longer hanging on the fence, feeling like you're in, you know, air suspension, sh reshifting your perception, uh, getting back to focus. But it's still that energy that's lingering on. Um, and then for the others, just, you know, be careful about not trusting yourself as well, because this card relates to uh, intuition. So with it being in the reverse, you may not trust what you feel related to uh, something important. And uh, the, what I you know, could say for you for that is just to trust whatever it is that you get first. That's usually the correct answer. OK, so it's a lot of energy here with this queen of uh, cups in the uh, reverse in the middle. So it's not really trusting yourself, your intuition, those feelings that you get that, you know, uh, you should be listening to or adhering to. And then overcoming for the ones that I'm reading for uh, associated with a relationship, overcoming some sort of emotional disappointment uh, attached specifically about a relationship. No longer feeling like you're in the air, of, you know, suspense sitting on that fence. OK, uh, your energy is reshifting and refocusing yourself, uh, but there's still lingering energy that whatever has upset you in the past is still going on. But it feels like to me that you are, you know, more in control of yourself. OK, and the reason why I say that is because the tail end Friday going into Saturday, we have the um, six of wands. And even though this is in the reverse, um, this card relates to having achieved and while it's in the upright victory and success, but it's in the reverse. So there's minimum success achieved. So it could be related to that relationship, overcoming that disappointment uh, attached to a relationship. So there is some. Um, what I feel good news, you know, so it's not really all a bad week in terms of the energy. Also, too, the Six of Wands represents, for me, like there may be some sort of uh, travel plans uh, canceled at the last minute. Um, but whatever it is, it's going to be some sort of uh, success. Again, I get the fire sign energies with the Six of Wands, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, um, male or female. So it may be that there is some sort of postponement going on with travel plans connected to that type of energy. Um, definitely in the upright is something positive. Uh, and moving forward, but there may be some uh, postponement, cancellation, delays. OK, but you still want to achieve some sort of success. If it's not attached to a relationship, it may be just, you know, you getting uh, going into uh, the weekend and getting your senses back in order from some sort of emotional stuff that took place in the past um, related to either a relationship friendship something going on in the family structure job whatever was closed okay so that's your reading libra and the messenger of oracle card that i have selected for you to support your reading is okay let two become one and since these cards are new i'm just going to read the uh text message from the book uh related to this energy here so it says here share yourself with the one that you love be their best friend and let them be yours. Let your trust in each other be unshakable and your love be strengthened by knowing and accepting each other's flaws and weaknesses and still loving each other despite them. Give yourself completely trusting that you will not lose your independence or sense of self, but instead become two halves of a stronger loving whole. So this is a very powerful, uh, beautiful message for those Libras. Uh, that I'm reading for and what I find 
interesting is that if the reading above does not resonate with you, I do the Oracle cards because there may be something from the, uh, you know, the message that uh, connects with you or resonates with you. So and it can go, you know, either way, vice versa. So <clears throat> this is your reading, Libra. Once again, I want to thank you for uh, visiting my channel. Uh, I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Until the next time, I wish you all love and light. Take care, Libra. Bye.